Hello, I'm Pastor Lee, and welcome to Walking Through the Latter Days. And I do have another set of uh, global end time headline news for you this week. Um, the, the news that I come up with each week, um, you watch TV news. Uh, I try to shy away from the television news as much as I can, but I, I, I am guilty, I say. I do watch a little bit of it. And this week especially, between like CNN, um, Headline News, uh, Fox News, of course, it seems like they use the same four, maybe five headlines. And it's regardless what time of day that you have it on, it's going over the same ones over and over and over again. Now, it's true. I could come up with the headlines here for the week and come up with the very same things that they have. Of course, they're just wanting to show and tell you what they want you to know and to hear, which is not the, uh, the whole truth. They, uh, they show Hollywood. They show the celebrities and make you know, their life so important and where they're going and what their next movie is going to be and, you know, and stuff like that. But uh, I just feel it's very important that the news that I bring you each and every week that I do a little research on and, and, and find something that's important, something that's not being spoken over and over on the television news, and also try to tie the headline news into the Bible. That's the main purpose here. So I've got several of them that I'd like to uh, share with you. First one, um, Israeli TV report shows Air Force gearing up for Iran attack. And it says that the uh, moment of truth is near and that the Israeli Air Force, they expect losses. That means loss of life. And knows it can't destroy the entire Iranian program. See, they, they've got these sites hidden so well. They've... They've targeted, they know where several of them are, and some of them are under mountains. So the ones that they can hit, that's, that's fine and well. But the ones that they can't hit, and there are some that they won't be able to, those are the ones that are going to um, uh, bite them in the back end, so to speak. Uh, there will be losses, <clears throat> major losses. Um, and moving on to the next one. Uh, the arrogant, and I don't use that term loosely, but the arrogant Obama has the nerve to say while he's in Colombia, remember he was in Colombia, the country there, and taking care of some very important uh, business, whatever that, that was, but he came out and said this publicly, and it, it's quoted. He says, part of my job is to scout out where I want to bring Michelle back later for vacation. Can you believe that he has the audacity to do this? We're, we have can track back to history a long, long time ago. And we can see where the Bible says that there are many an antichrists. Uh, the last... One that we can really speak of is uh, Hitler. And a lot of people back in World War II who were Bible readers and believe the Bible were thinking, okay, this, this is the Antichrist because he has all the characteristics of. Well, this Obama, I think, is just uh, coming one step closer to seeing the real Antichrist. I believe that... Uh, this um, Obama is paving the way for the entrance to the Antichrist. And um, I believe that the Antichrist is going to be uh, has uh, charisma, but I also believe that he's going to be arrogant. I believe that we're just seeing a little hint of this uh, future dictator is going to be. I believe he's just going to come out and just tell you how it's going to be, and uh, it's what I do, and what are you going to do about it? I mean, this is, um, it is so arrogant. But uh, I could sit here and let it bother me. 
say, well, you know, um, how could we have someone in office this way? But we have to look to higher levels. We look at the government, but then we have to look who is actually controlling the government, the elitist, the globalist, the Illuminati, um, whatever you want to call them. And then there still have to go another notch above that. To the next level is actually Satan. Satan is controlling all of this. But then you have to go to the highest level yet. And that's God. God is still sitting on the throne. God is allowing Satan to do all this maneuvering to get these certain people in office, set them up where they need to be. Because what, the, what Satan is going to do with the Antichrist is going to accomplish God's plan perfectly 100%. It'll all line up with the Bible perfectly. So yeah, we can look at Obama and get all aggravated and frustrated, but we have to look at the big picture. Look at the big picture and say this is all going according to God's plan. So that's the, that's the very important part. Uh, this week, volcanoes. We had two volcanoes in Costa Rica. It's our starting to show signs of erupting. And there's the Popo Mountain in Mexico. It's also beginning to awaken. And this I didn't know. This really, really surprised the heck out of me. So far in the year 2012, we're just in the fourth month, right? So far, there's been 49 different eruptions in the year 2012. The earth is quaking, shaking, convulsing. It is getting ready for the return of Christ. And we certainly are seeing the signs. Um, jumping back to Obama, I have another article. Obama has an ambitious plan for Washington bureaucrats to take command of the oceans. Yeah, you, you heard me right. Obama has a plan to take command over the oceans. Yeah, the oceans actually belong to Obama. And with it, he'll have control over much of the nation's energy, fisheries, and recreation in a move described by lawmakers as the ultimate power grab to zone the seas. But if you happen to have a recreational uh, water vehicle, if it's a wave runner, if it's a, if it's a small boat, if it's a yacht, whatever the case may be, you better use it now. Because according to this, if Obama has control over recreational vehicles and fishing, if you're a fisherman here in Florida, it's, it's big, big, big here, you may not be able to do it. So I'd say here to springtime, getting into summertime soon, recreational vehicles are big time. You better do it now while you still can because I don't think that's going to last too much longer. But see... I mean, look at the mind of this person. He wants to control the oceans. I mean, he is acting out like God. He thinks he is a God. And this is exactly the way the Antichrist is going to be, except it's going to be kicked up several levels higher, several levels even worse. But... Uh, it's, just, it's amazing to, to see this, this power. And, you know, th with the elitist and the government officials, it's, uh, it's not about money. Because, you know, with the um, Rockefellers, the Rothschilds, um, people of that sort, they, they've got the money. They don't need the money. In power, they've, they've got the power. They possess plenty of both, money and power go hand in hand. They definitely have that. But the third one is what they're trying to get. Control. 
they're not they're not satisfied with just money or power, but they got to have that control. They're control freaks, which is exactly what the Antichrist is going to be. The biggest control freak that's ever lived on this planet Earth. And it's like with each dictator that we get is getting worse and worse, is getting closer and closer to the time when the revealing of the Antichrist is going to come. But the good thing about that is that the Bible says that before the Antichrist can be revealed is that the one restraining the Antichrist, the one holding back, has to be removed or taken away. Now what's that speaking of? It's speaking of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is inside of each born-again believer, sealed to where it cannot be removed. So for the Holy Spirit to be removed from planet Earth, we have to go along with it. So that is the rapture, the rapture of the church. Um, I know a lot of people get hung up on the word rapture. They say, well, I've been in the Bible and it, and it doesn't say rapture. Well, I have to agree with you, totally. But it says caught up. It's translated. Look into Greek. Uh, harpazo. Translated to raptura. That's where we get the English word rapture. But if you look in the Bible, um, look at 2 Thessalonians, where it describes what being caught up is. So don't be hung up on the, the word caught up. Look at what it's describing. And that's the important thing. We, we can call it um, the snatching away, the, uh, the rapture, harpazoed, what, whatever the word you want to call it is fine. But it's understanding what that is. And that is being removed from this earth to join the Lord Jesus Christ in the air. And then we will be taken off into heaven where we will be there for all eternity. Being saved from the uh, seven-year tribulation that's rapidly, and I do mean rapidly, coming to this earth. Uh... My next headline speaks of black military helicopters. Black military helicopters conduct covert exercises over downtown Chicago. This was also done in Los Angeles not too long ago. But I saw on the, my uh, computer here, it had several videos taken of these helicopters going through downtown Chicago. They were roughly maybe between eight and ten stories up. There were three of them, uh, one behind the other, positioned themselves. Two of them would stay back. One would fly forward. Then the others catch up. They did it during the daytime, but then they did it at nighttime. And the thing is, about nighttime, they, there were no lights on the helicopter done in total darkness. Well, I got a... Uh, say right here my my gut says right here and that we are at some point in time I don't think it's going to be too long we're going to see some type of false flag operation false flag event happen and I believe that it's going to involve more than one major city in the United States uh, I'm not really sure exactly what, but I believe it's going to have to do with explosives. Um, so this is the this is the times that we're living in. The Bible says that we are going to be living in such a time as this. Violence going to increase with much intensity, and uh, it's very very dangerous times, but. Hold on to God's word. Hold on to God's promise that he is going to spare his children, the believers in Christ, from the coming wrath. We've got the rapture to look forward to. Um, 
we talk about volcanoes, uh, not earthquakes. Earthquakes were happening, I mean, big time here a number of months ago, but then it kind of quieted down, settled down. Now they're starting to pick up again. We had 39 quakes that hit the globe within a two-day period. Uh, a quake expert says that there have just been too many strong quakes and that the earth is actually beginning to, to crack up. But the expert says, no doubt something is seriously wrong. Well, I, I couldn't disagree with them more because this is actually um, seriously right because this is exactly what Jesus predicted in Matthew chapter 24. He says, in these last days, we will see an increase in earthquakes, in numbers and intensity. And he relates it to a woman uh, giving birth. The closer the woman gets to the time of her birth, the birth pains increase and the pain increases. It, it intensifies. So um, we're definitely, definitely seeing earthquakes tick, tick up now. Um, it's been two years after the BP oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico. The Gulf ecosystem is decimated and there are already numerous signs that the worst case scenario may be planning out right now. This is affecting the food chain. And I just want to say that if, if this story right here, you figure that's affecting the food chain in the Gulf, the Gulf waters. If this story and other important stories are not being put on the mainstream news, uh, people just think um, it's it's not happening. If they don't see it on that news, it doesn't exist. They were reporting the BP oil spill up to a certain point, and when they stop, it gives the people a false impression. They think, well, if, if they're not talking about it, the reporters are now gone, that means everything is fine. Everything is not fine. It's worse now than it's ever been. And the oil is not the worst part. It's the dispersants. It's the, it's the sprays that they're spraying on. That's what's killing the fish. They actually have reported um, uh, was it crabs and shrimp. And the shrimp are being born without eyes. You want to eat that kind of food that's been contaminated to where they're showing birth defects in this? But yet, the mainstream news, you don't hear anything about it, so you just figure, well, I guess everything's fine. I live just within minutes of the Gulf of Mexico, and I'm very leery about getting in that, in that water. Sure, I'm, I'm a long ways. I'm down in southwest Florida, the uh, Sarasota area. Good little ways from where that... Um, spill took place, but the amount of dispersants that they've sprayed on that Gulf water, Lord knows how far that stuff has traveled. Does it take up the entire Gulf? Could be. I don't know. But uh, you see commercials on TV. They're saying, "Oh, come to the come to the coast of Florida. Come to Mississippi," and it's. Everything is fine, but you know, at the end of the commercial, you see who it's paid for. It's paid by BP. They're lying to you, okay? They're lying to you. If you just listen to the reports or the internet of the actual people who live in like villages and towns along the coast who make their living off of that, they are hurting big time because of the damage that's been done to the sea life. Yeah, these are the times we're in. Um, Monsanto, the massive biotechnology company, is being blamed for contributing to the dwindling bee population. 
and they bought up one of the leading bee collapse research organizations. Why do you think that was done? To keep the truth from being heard. Here is a large organization that is checking, investigating on why the uh, bee population is dwindling big time. And they don't want that to be put out. They don't want that information to be heard. It's like what uh, is done in this country. If somebody's beginning to talk, they do away with them. They shut them up for good. So they figure this is what we'll do to get these people to shut up. We'll just go, we're just going to buy up that, that organization. And I tell you, people might not think how important bees are. Say, well, a, f a few less bees shouldn't hurt anything. They do. The pollination. Our food depends on bee pollination. Without it, you get famine. What's one of the words that Jesus speaks of in Matthew 24? Famine fits right into Bible prophecy. And one last headline. Mandatory. In other words, must be. Mandatory Big Brother black boxes in all new cars starting in the year 2015. What can I say is that the system of the Antichrist continues to take shape. Man, we are, we are uh, moving along at uh, breakneck speed right now. I mean, we are ex accelerating so quick into these last days. And if, um, I've, I've said, you know, if you're not ready, get right with God, get prepared. But you know, we are getting so close to that last, to the last minute, that I don't know if you have enough time to get prepared. It's urgent that you are prepared. Up to this time, I have been saying, get yourself prepared, get yourself prepared. Well, now you, you, you've got to, You've got to be prepared. I mean, that's how close we are. We are so close. I don't have enough time to go over all the different uh, articles and facts that I'm coming up with here, but there's so much that is going on under the radar scope. It's unbelievable what all this government is doing and what they're getting ready to line up. I mean, they're going to kill the dollar. They've already said by the end of this year, of 2012, they want the dollar to be dead. We've never experienced such a thing. What do you, you got to think about that? What what is that going to do to the economy? You think the economy is going to be bad now? If the dollar's dead, what's that going to do? It's only one thing you can do. I'm not going to leave you hanging. There is one thing you can do. The only thing. When your security is removed, money is the security in this world. If that's been taken, there's only one security left. And that's the Lord God. God is your security. Don't put all your security into gold. I mean, people put security in money. They lose that and put it in gold. If gold isn't going to work, they're going to put it in something else. Put it in the one that's valuable, that does not lose value. One that is greater than any kind of metal resource or any paper or tree that's on this earth, and that's God himself. Make him your security and you can't go wrong because he won't let you down. He'll take care of you, okay? Well, I wrapped it up for this week. I am Pastor Lee wishing you well. You have a great week. And as always, may God bless.